Here's a little test that I performed. It's uh, actually just regular ice, standard Edmonton tap water in this glass here. Nestle Pure Life distilled. I believe it's distilled. No, it's actually spring water. It's 100% natural spring water in this glass there. Um, the ice was melted in the microwave for four minutes. Both glasses were microwaved at the same time. You can see in the natural Edmonton tap water that there is a bit of sediment that looks to appear like little pieces of plastic, but it's also actually calcium carbonate or calcium. You can see the little chunks kind of floating around once the ice has melted into a water state. I believe the calcium has nowhere to go in the ice, so it uh, freezes and then clumps together. Whereas in normal water, it's dispersed evenly. Fresh out of the tap, you don't, it's obviously in smaller chunks. Although the, the spring water appears like it has less of the actual calcium. You give the glass a bit of a spin. Looks a little more cloudy. Not exactly too sure why that is. Maybe because a lot of the calcium in large particles were filtered out. Whereas the city tap water has more suspended larger particles, yet the water seems more clear. In Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, we do have hard tap water. Uh, the reason I was doing this test was because I wasn't too sure why my ice maker was making ice. And then when the ice melted into a glass, these little white chunks were floating around. Well, these white chunks are calcium that's in the water naturally. Uh, the bottled water definitely has a lot less. And you give the glass a spin. And, uh, yeah, there's a bit less. Um, I don't know what the... Pretty sure it doesn't affect you either way. I've been drinking the water for 40 years in Edmonton and uh, still kicking. I definitely suggest... Mm, not drinking the water now because it looks not appetizing. If you grab it out of the tap, which I'll do right now. Warm water out of the tap. For the most part, pretty clear. A bunch of the oxygen bubbles are floating around. I would suggest a bunch of vodka and ice to put in that. Then you'd have yourself a good drink. Bottled water, on the other hand, still looks kind of cloudy. In the bottle form, it's actually pretty good. Anyways, that's all I gotta say.